You can usually tell the guys into you though, because we're all a bit obvious guys. Anyway, you can't really tell if a sometimes it's harder to tell if a girl likes you. Girls do that, don't they? Do that, like they, they do that, like <laughs> yeah. But you can't just base it off just that. <laughs> you know, some guy, some guys really go deep into it. They're like, oh, have they viewed my Instagram story? Have they liked my latest post? Or shit like that. That's what I mean. When it's a night out, that's what people used to say. Oh yeah, a night out is just, is she looking at me enough? Yeah. And then if you're dancing in the nightclub doing your shit moves, <laughs> is she either backing away or is she staying where she is letting me approach her? So you're talking about in a professional, what, what, what kind of environment? Well, let's just say if you're at work. If, if I'm at work and I don't know, no one, I don't think anyone's going to hit on me, to be fair, there was one guy that was sat on his computer. Sat on your ass. <laughs> I mean, that would be very interesting. Sat on my ass. But he was sat there, and like you could just tell, you could just see, like he was very well done. His skin was great. He's obviously into <laughs> so fit basically, there. you should have went up to him and said, like, "Excuse me, sir, you take care of yourself. You, my friend, mm-hmm. are a quit." <laughs> someone, I promise you that. Someone said to me when I was in college in Wales, they were just like, um, we were at other some sort of party, and I was really, 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 really stoned, and I was just like, guy, I was just rolling and rolling and rolling. And some dude that just came up to me, and he was like, really fucked himself, and he was just like, "Sir Isaac, I hope you don't mind me asking, but." Are you gay? And I was just like, yeah. And then he was like, ah, oh, I thought so. Did you know, I could tell. And I was like, what? He's like, because you take good care of yourself. Yeah. I was like, okay. Like, and I mean, it's true. That's a compliment, at least. Yeah, it's a compliment, but it's just sad that if men take care of themselves, they're looked at more as feminine. Yeah, I, I've got. I've like, got you one. take care of yourself. Your skin is like glowing right oh, now. Thanks, mate. Well, I, I moisturize in the morning and evenings, but that's about it. That's what we need to do. You know, I think, I think all you gotta do is moisturize and work out as a guy to look alright. Mm hmm. I mean, girls have to go. I feel bad for girls because I went on a date last week. Oh, it was all right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like, you were more excited about it than I was just then. You were like, ah! I was I'm like, so excited ah. for you. Well, oh. anyway, um, I met her at twelve o'clock, right. and so she said I started getting ready for this day at eight o'clock, and I went, I got ready at like half eleven. And she goes, it took me three out two hours just to do my makeup. And then yeah, do my eyelashes, yeah, and I'm like, oh, God, I feel horrible for you guys. you no. got to do all that just to look this good. And that's what I mean. Like, with my, my friends who are girls, mm. they love taking their time with their makeup. They'll be getting ready. Like, I wake up in the morning, and then they're getting ready. Mm. And then, you know, I could go... I could go to bloody my lectures and then come back and they're still getting ready and it's just like but then again I do take my time as well like yeah. it takes me a good solid I'd say for a, I'd say for a guy I take my time like I'd say I, I dedicate at least a good let's say if I'm going on a night out and it's Saturday and then I'm going out with the boys and I want to look good at the club then I'll dedicate at least 20 minutes wow five minutes to choosing my five minutes choosing my clothes ten minutes over the hair and then put on some nice perfume and you know what I, you know what I do to have a make sure I have a good night I play a song that gets me in the mood for clubs please let everyone know what this song is uh, so sometimes it's that song um, what's wrong with being confident <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's Where wrong with being? What's wrong with being? What's wrong with being confident? Uh, yeah, Demi Lovato. That is the one. Yeah. Why? What makes you? What I makes don't you know. Miss- it just gets me in the mood. <laughs> what's wrong with being? What's wrong with being? What's wrong with being confident? Uh, well, if it gets you in the mood, then that is what gets you in the mood. Oh yeah, I'll like shut the blinds, dance to it quickly in my room. I'm like, yep, I'm in the mood to be confident. I'm gonna go out there and drink. And, and just, charm some girls. Wow. But I mean, damn. See, that's what I mean. If I'm going on a night out, it will take me the same time it would probably take a girl to get ready. Yeah. All right. If you're in a club. um, Okay. Let's say if you saw me in a club, right? Okay. And I was gay. How um, how are you going to hit on me? I wouldn't. Yeah, but let's, say I, let's say if you had to. I'm like, we're both at the bar. If I had we're to. Both, we're both at the bar. Yeah. If you don't hit on me, you, your mum dies. Fuck <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, so we're both at the bar. We made contact. How do you hit on me? I mean, this is the thing because I've never actually had this kind. Of, I've never been in this situation or experienced this. So this is just literally going off from, I guess, improvisation. I'd be like, "Hi, do you want a drink?" It's okay, then. It's quite I, aggressive. Okay, okay it? then let, let's role play. So you've just said, okay. "Hi, you want a drink?" Fine. Um. Yeah. Uh, oh no, thanks. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> right then. Um, I hope you have a good night. I wouldn't put myself in that situation because <laughs> it's awkward. Ah. Uh, 
actually, I'd just be like, actually, okay, here we go. Fine, if right, I let's start thinking, again. We're right. starting again. Starting again. All right, okay. then. Shoot so, your shot. You can shoot your shot again. All right, okay, I'm, so at, I'm at the bar. I'm okay. enjoying the drink. So I will, you know, throw a quick couple glances your way. Maybe look and I look, I look back every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we like keep looking at each other when yeah. we are, and then we have that awkward like, oh. And then I'd analyze what you're drinking, and then I'd say, and then I pop the pill in, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll see you in a few hours, <laughs> and then you wake up in my bedroom. <laughs> No, and then so I look at what you're drinking, and then if I could deal with that, deal with whatever you're drinking, I'd say, excuse me, can I have two drinks of, ah, uh, but then I have to think about what it actually is. I'd just be like, what can I get to what they're having, please? Yeah. And then they would do that. And then I'd be like, hi, uh, would you like to take this drink? No, actually, that's really stupid. Why would you be like, hi, would you like? Uh, you know what? Because this is the thing, if you're drunk, you have all the confidence in the world. Yeah. So I could mostly can't choose. But, hi, how are you? Are you good? I'm good too. It's like stupid like <laughs> and that. And then if I was really drunk, I'd be like, yeah, it feels like we've known each other for years. Do you know what I mean? And then you just vibe off that. But then, and unfortunately, it depends what you want. If you want a quick bang, or if you want to like get to know quick, me. Quick buck for the bang. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, place, you, you know how it's going. Yeah, I don't know how it approach that situation until it actually happens but it's not ever happened so well i found that girls in a pub they hit on guys by just either getting their friend to go up to one of the guys and say um we think this one's fit or they get the waiter to bring them drinks and say these are from the girls over there yeah because i was in spoons last week and obviously you're not allowed to trans you're not allowed to go to other tables Mm -hmm. so they just got this they got this random guy he was built like a tank probably about six he was like six plus Mm -hmm. um big six foot Six foot plus muscle bound black guy, but he was the friendliest guy I ever met. And he had a really charming African accent. Mm. And the way he was built, and he was in all black, I thought he was a security guard, but he wasn't. So he was just passing these girls, and he'd say, Excuse me, can you get that that lad there? Which they would point to me. And so I feel this huge arm on my shoulder, and I think, Oh shit, am I in trouble? He he, he he turns around and he goes, Hello, my friend, these two girls on table 28. He goes, hello, my friend. These girls on table 28 would like to speak to you. Oh and I go, God. what have I done? And they go, no, they would like to speak to you. And I go, okay, come with me. And so he just drags me with his huge four-size arms <laughs> over to 28. And then these two beautiful women are sitting there. And he goes, you have five minutes with them before you must go back it's to like the table. It's like date line. What's, what's those Love things? Island. <laughs> oh, Lord. Basically. Oh, Lord. So he sits me down and they go, we're really interested in you and your we? friend over there. There were two guys. Oh, so you had like... No, no, They were, one of them was interested in another one of my friends. One of them was interested in me. One of them was interested in another so mate. So the result of the... No, the so the result of the poll are in and it seems that these two women are interested in two men. This can lead to... Oh, nothing. It led no. to nothing. No, they were like, <laughs> you and your mate are like, really fair. Can we like, it. can we like, have your instas? <laughs> uh, and then we got their instas. And then nothing happened. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, why'd you invite me over? You haven't got the balls to do anything else after that. See, that's the problem with straight couple, not couple, people in general sometimes. But you haven't got the balls. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but then again, with gay men, I think, I don't know. I really just don't. Because I can't say, like, I've been to timepiece in all the time when I used to very rarely go out to the clubs, aka timepiece, because that's all there is here. Um, I literally... They'd be like, oh my god, yeah, we're gonna find you. Like, they'd be like, oh my god, I'm gonna get off with so many people. Or I'm gonna just, you know, we're gonna find you a man. Like, that would be me to them. And they'd be like, oh, thanks, but Isaac, we need to find you a man. We're gonna find you a man. Don't, don't you hate was, it? Don't you hate it when friends do that? Because then you feel like they're putting pressure on you to get someone. <laughs> I was like, first of all, yes. Second of all, I was just like, let's be really, really, really realistic about the current situation that 95% of people that go to Time Peace, you know, because yeah. it's... That's the, why I hate about Exeter. Exactly. Everyone you go it's to just know an, that. It's an incest pool of everyone who's slept together and all their exactly. bloody sperm and eggs are mixing together to create incest people. Exactly. So that was the first thing. The second thing is that for a gay man, I, it's one thing I hate when females or anyone says, like, oh, I have a gay <laughs> If there's one girl. thing I hate, it's no, straight. <laughs> honestly, it's the one thing I hate is when people say, oh, my friend's gay, I'm going to try and hook you up with him. I'm just like, first of all, just because we have to share the same sexuality, that does not mean that we are interested in each other because yeah. people have types. So that's why I'm just like, I'm not going to find... <laughs> Put the pen and paper away! <laughs> <laughs> so, no, do like, you, what's your type? I don't know. Is it... um? Short, ginger, um, very unattractive boys called Elijah. Oh my god, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, little little shy, ugly boys. No, I don't really know what my type is. I don't really have a type. I think it's just more like there's someone that I'm interested in currently. And oh they, yeah, should we give him a shout out? What's his name? No, I'm definitely not. I'm not Let's speak it into the system. <laughs> Let's speak it into the system. system. Confess your love, Isaac. We'll call him. You're, you're khaki. It is your time. <laughs> we will call him. Um, we'll call telephone him. box. Since I saw him. All right, so all right then, telephone box. Yeah. What's he like? Or telephone for short. So I'm sure. I'm sure you want to ring his box. Lads, lads, lads. It's the conversation of what role. Two men play when having sex. See, this is now turning into a sex. Talk now you're giving about me. You're people. giving me sex education. There we go. Yeah. Who needs sex education? You're season. On f- you are season three. I am. Se- you're the. Just, you're the spinoff. <laughs> they just put season three announcement on the seventh, seventh or seventeenth of September. But don't listen to it. It's a lie. Until then, you are the new season. I am season. Three. You are Black Otis. And we are OG Otis. <laughs> the okay. OG Otis. We are OG. Stop, fam. I'm gonna be telling you how to get in but that no, pussy. <laughs> I, I just think I don't know. I just I don't know. Gay men are just. Uh, it's just, it's, it's just down here, there's not a lot of options. I bet I mean? there's loads in London. Yeah, there are there are quite a lot, but again, it's because because London is such a big place, and when you go to a big city, because it, there's, like, everyone who could be anyone, if you want to be anyone, like, whatever, you'll find it there. And people know that, so they have a specific type that they're looking for, and because it's such a big place, you can find that type, but it's going to take you a long time. But people are looking for something so specific. And what I've learned most is that people aren't honest. 